Uh, let's uh, study the definition of derivative. The derivative, uh, the, uh, the concept of the derivative is from two uh, practical problems. The first practical, uh, practical, practical problem is the slope of tangent line. Uh, first, we should know what is what is tangent line. The tangent line. The tangent line uh, from uh, the high school we know that. The tangent line of a circle is a line that uh, intersects with, uh, with the circle at just only one point. But what is a tangent line for a curve? The curve is not, is not a the curve is not a circle. And uh, may uh, the circle may uh, intersect on straight line by two or more points. And uh, actually, the tangent line of a, of a circle is the limit line of the second line. If this point is x naught plus delta x, y naught plus delta y. From the, the point P, we choose a, a point uh, on, the, uh, on the curve near the P, and then uh, draw a line connect this, connecting these two points. This line I will call the second line. Second line of the curve passing through P and Q. Then let Q let Q close or uh, approaches to P. So the second line is like this. And then when P uh, when Q is uh, when Q approaches to P then the limit is the the limit line is the tangent line. The tangent line is the limit line of second line on the circle uh, on the curve. Now, how to find the equation of the tangent line at this point, at point P? Because we know that the line is passing through P, so we, by the interest, uh, by, by the snow point form of the line, we know the only, uh, the only unknown is the slope. Then, by the defini definition of tangent line, we find that and slope first we find slope of second uh, line as f x naught plus delta x minus f x naught over delta x because this part is delta y this is delta this is delta x this part is delta y uh, delta y is f x naught plus delta x minus f naught so the slope of tangent line is actually 
the limit when delta x tends to 0. fx0 plus delta x minus fx0 over delta x because uh, when q approaches to p, that means that is equivalent to delta x tends to 0. This is the slope of tangent line, it's a limit. Or we can write it as limit delta x tends to 0 as delta y over delta x. So that's the slope of tangent line. The second, the second practical problem is the instantaneously. velocity. Uh, if a particle uh, moves along a straight line uh, in, uh, in a uh, variable, uh, in, in variable maybe uh, velocity. So what is the velocity at, at the point T0? If its uh, if its uh, position is as a function of time, so how to find the uh, instantaneous at t naught? What is the velocity of t naught at this point? We know that the velocity is the Change uh, the change uh, the change of uh, distance over the change of time. That's the, that's the velocity with uh, the constant constant uh, with constant velocity. But if the velocity is changing. And uh, time by time. So what is the velocity? So first we find the average velocity. That's average. If we choose our on the time, just just uh, passing our. Uh, short time that's t naught o um, plus delta t. The average velocity from t naught to t naught plus delta t that is s t naught plus delta t minus s t naught over delta t. That's the average velocity. When the time and the time interval is uh, shorter and shorter then that means delta t tends to zero then we get the instantaneous instantaneous velocity at, at this point that is the limit delta t tends to zero s s t naught plus delta t minus s t naught over delta t or we write as Delta t tends to zero. Delta s over delta t. So we got this. Uh, we got the same expression. The same expression as before. The limit. The limit changing of of the function over the change of the dependent variable. We call this the rate of change. Of function, the same expression. So we uh, give the exper this expression a uh, lame. It's called a derivative. The derivative 
or x equals x naught. Maybe it's easier. That is the derivative of f at this point is limit when delta x tends to zero. f x plus f x naught plus delta x x naught plus delta x minus f x naught over delta x or we write as delta x tends to zero um, delta y over delta x that's the derivative at, at one point and if this limit exists exists then we call fx is differentiable at x equals x naught that's the definition of differentiable uh, in the limit we should know that f x naught should should uh, should defined and this limit should it be should it exist so fx should uh, defined uh, on the neighborhood of x naught that's the derivative of fx if if the function is differentiable at the at uh, each point on the interval then the derivative will define our function at every point then the derivative defined of function of x then we'll call is uh, a derivative function and uh, for any point x uh, belongs to an interval we defined this as limit to x uh, delta x tends to zero that is f x plus delta x minus fx over delta x because it's differentiable at every point so we replace the x naught with x and this is a function this is a function of x because it's valued uh, it's changing and it's changing in terms of x now use the definition of derivative we find uh, the derivative of function at our point suppose y equals uh, we just write as fx fx equals x square find derivative at point 2 and uh, any other point for uh, for arbitrary point the solution is f the derivative uh, uh, at x equals 2 that is delta x tends to 0 f2 plus delta x minus f2 over delta x 
So the fx is delta uh, is x squared. So we find that is 2 plus delta x squared minus 4 over delta x. Delta x tends to 0. That's 4 plus 4 delta x plus delta x squared minus 4 over delta x. So the, uh, the denominator uh, becomes 4 delta x plus delta x squared over delta x. Cancel the delta x that it left 4 plus delta x. Then let delta x tends to 0. The limit is 4. So that the, the derivative at x equals 2, we got 4. And for arbitrary x, the definition is delta x tends to 0 fx plus delta x minus fx over delta x. That's for arbitrary x. Delta x tends to 0. That's x plus delta x squared minus x squared over delta x. Expand the nominator. We have x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x square minus x square over delta x. The variable is delta x. We left 2x delta x plus delta x square over delta x. Then the limit is 2x. That's the derivative function. Okay, uh, there's another definition. As a right derivative. Uh, Sometimes we write as derivative at x naught. Uh, we put the x and put plus here. That's the right derivative and the left derivative. Just uh, replace the limit as left limit and the right limit. Just uh, replace the derivative, uh, the, and the, the limit in the derivative at right derivative and the left derivative. And there is a theorem as, uh, from the definition of derivative directly that if fx is differentiable. at x equals a the necessary condition the necessary condition is fx is continuous at x equals a the proof is directly because the derivative at this point is limit delta x tends to 0. Uh, f a plus delta x minus f a over delta x. This exists as the differentiable. This exists, but the, we know that the denominator tends to 0. So the long letter must 
uh, tends to zero as well. Otherwise, otherwise the limit does not exist. So that is limit uh, delta x tends to zero. F a plus delta x equals F a. So that is continuous. The function is continuous. But this is necessary condition, not not sufficient. Uh, F is continuous, may not differentiable. But f x is different at this point, it must be continuous. We use this theorem to find some um, undetermined uh, constant. For example, if f x equals x square when x less or equal to 1, a x plus b when x greater than 1. And the value a b such that f x is differentiable at x equals one. If fx is differentiable, so it must uh, be continuous because there is two undetermined uh, uh, constant. We need two uh, equations to, deter de to determine a and b. The two equation is from um, two conditions. So first that is fx is continuous. at x equals 1. So use the theorem that the right limit should equal the left limit. The left limit is x square, the expression of x square. When x tends to 1, we get 1. And the right limit use the expression ax plus b because when x greater than 1 the function is ax plus b so that is a plus b uh, combine these two we got a plus b equals 1 this is the first uh, uh, the first equation the second fx is differentiable differentiable that the uh, left derivative should equal the right derivative by the uh, by the theorem for uh, limit existence of limit the left limit is delta x tends to 0 f1 plus delta x minus f1 over delta x that's the left limit uh, when x delta x tends to uh, 0 from the left that is it. that is one plus delta x less than, than one. So we use the expression of x squared. The f one plus delta x is one plus delta x squared minus one over delta x. That is two. One plus two delta x plus delta x squared minus one over delta x that is 2 and the right derivative f1 plus delta x 
minus f1 over delta x because 1 plus uh, delta x is greater than 1. So we use the expression ax, AX plus b, that is a times 1 plus delta x plus b minus f1, f1 is 1 because the the, e, the equal sign is defined here. That is a plus a plus a delta x plus b minus one over delta x, because a plus b equals one. Here a plus b minus one is zero. That, so that the limit equals a delta x over delta x equals a. The right limit show uh, the right derivative show the equals the left derivative we got a equals two. Then insert insert to the a plus b equals one we got, got b equals negative one. That's the answer. That's the necessary condition for fx is differentiable. And the last, the last problem is the oh, seven. Is the equation of tangent line. At x equals a, the equation that is the equation of tangent line as y minus y naught equals the derivative of f a f f x at the point a times x minus a. Uh, we may write use x naught as the same as before. So here is x naught the same as before. Use the same symbol as before. Or this equation can be written as y minus f a f x naught equals f the derivative of x at x naught times uh, x minus x naught. Now this we use this example. Find the tangent line. of y equals x square at x equals 2. The solution is that we know that the derivative at x equals 2, that is 4. So the tangent uh, the equation of tangent line is y minus f2 equals the derivative at x equal uh, derivative at x equals 2 times x minus 2. That is y minus 4 as 4 x minus 2. That's the equation of tangent line. Or you can you, you can <coughs> simplify this equation as y equals 4x minus 4. That's the tangent line of a function at some point. OK, that's the, that's the definition of the derivative.